Once you've loaded, prepped, and transformed your data in Altair Monarch Data Prep Studio, you may want to analyze subsets of your data to identify trends and spot anomalies. Here we have sales data from several different retail stores. Each record contains product details, including retail price, cost, quantities, and so on. We can analyze this data to see what the sales totals are for selected product categories. To accomplish this, we can use named filters. With Monarch Data Prep Studio, you can create formula-based, value-based, or compound filters. To create a formula-based filter, you must specify an expression using the fields functions, and operators we see here. Let's say we are interested in sales amounting to $50 or more. When we apply the filter, we can see that our data set has been narrowed down to just 79 rows and shows only products with sales of $50 or more. Without the filter, we have more than a thousand rows. Let's go back to the filter window and rename the filter. With formula filters, you can specify how you want to handle duplicates. You can also set a limit on the number of rows that satisfy the filter criteria. Let's take a look at some specific product categories to understand how well they are selling. Let's use a value-based filter. We give the filter a name and set the field to filter on item category. We can type in a value or use wildcards. We can import the category values from the table. We will set this to no filter so we will retrieve all the values. Let's filter on these five categories and remove the other values. We can now choose to include rows that do match or do not match the selected categories. We can also choose whether to include rows with empty category values. As with the formula filter, we may set a row count limit. This dataset now only includes records for our target categories. A compound filter consists of one or more filters. Let's create a compound filter out of the two we've just created. By default, rows that satisfy any of the filters will be included in the resulting dataset. This selection will display an OR in the filter expression. Changing this to include rows that satisfy all the component filters will display an AND in the filter expression. We can also negate a filter, which is equivalent to adding a NOT in the filter expression. Let's set a name for our compound filter and put in a description as well. With our named filters in place, we now have a quick way to select only the records of interest. Monarch lets us manage our filters. From this menu, we can edit, duplicate, and delete specific filters, or delete all filters with a single command. Duplicating a filter is useful when you need to build a new filter that is similar to an existing one. When we create an export, 
For example, an export of our sales table, we can easily apply filters to the export to facilitate downstream discovery and analysis.